This final day of the 85th legislative session had some dramatic moments, including a protest over the sanctuary cities bill that the governor has already signed into law. And there could be more drama ahead tonight as lawmakers try to push through some high profile measures right before the midnight deadline. From the bathroom bill to property taxes, there are several bills that could have legislators working up until the very last minute. We have our Phil Archer live in Austin right now watching the progress or in some cases lack of it. Phil? <laughs> well, as the session rhymes down, tensions seem to be rising. Lawmakers still not sure if they'll be called back here for a special session. And on the floor of the House this morning, a near fistfight over the state's new sanctuary cities law. Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick has openly called for a special session to take up two of his priority bills rejected by the House. One limits transgender bathroom use, the other a property tax bill. Forcing the issue, Patrick rejected a House fix Sunday for a bill that must be passed by the Senate to prevent five state agencies from shutting down, including the state board that licenses doctors. Houston Representative Dan Huberty believes that now makes the chance of a special session better than 50-50. We've got the sunset bills that didn't get done. Um, you know, those are critical uh, to the like, Texas Medical Board functioning is critical. Um, those sunset bills have to get done. The fight highlights the long simmering tension between Lieutenant Governor Patrick and House Speaker Joe Strauss. I'm really hoping we don't because it costs the state a whole lot of money. Uh, and the only remaining issues are, you know, the, the Lieutenant Governor's pet issues that nobody really wants to deal with except the Lieutenant Governor. It's up to Governor Greg Abbott to decide if a special session will happen. He said today that he and he alone will make that decision later this week. <laughs> Meantime, demonstrators protesting passage of the sanctuary city's law shut down the House for a short time today, prompting a shoving match between legislators when Irving lawmaker Matt Rinaldi told Hispanic representatives on the floor he would called immigration officials to arrest the protesters. In a Facebook post, Rinaldi claimed Eagle Pass representative Pancho Navarez threatened his life, prompting Rinaldi to threaten to shoot if attacked. You know, I may have put my hands on him, and I'm sure I did. Um, but again, it's just, uh, it's a shame that that, that that had to happen on the House floor, uh, that he felt the need to, to pop off the way he does, that he's that hateful and spiteful. Less than six hours are left in this 85th session of the Texas legislature. Stay tuned. Reporting live in Austin, I'm Phil Archer, KPRC Channel 2 News.